Today we're going to talk about TPMS sensor programming methods. Autel's TPMS engineers have created an amazing feature that gives users the ability to copy by OBD. Autel's MX Sensor 1 sensors are blank when we remove them from the box. When preparing the sensor for installation, we need to use the tool to program the sensor. Simply put, we use the tool to teach the sensor how to behave like the OEM equivalent. In this way, we can achieve 99% vehicle coverage with our tools and sensors. You may recall that several methods are available when we go through the menu of our tools. The Copy by OBD sensor programming method is all you need to get great results every time. First, power up our ITS 600 and insert the VCI 200 into the vehicle's OBD2 diagnostic port. Place the ignition in the on position and select the Auto VIN Detect option on the ITS 600. This tool takes all the guesswork out of selecting the year, make, and model as it happens automatically. Let's go ahead and check each TPMS sensor using the ITS 600. Once we've attempted to activate each of the sensors, tap Diagnose on the next tab. The tool will communicate with the vehicle and display the Diagnose screen. In the left column, we can see the sensor IDs and locations as identified when we tested the sensors by activating them initially. The second column displays the sensor IDs and locations as they are stored in the control module. Having this data side by side for comparison allows us to identify any incorrect wheel locations possibly caused by a previous tire rotation that was not followed by a relearn procedure. We have identified from the diagnose that our right side rear sensor is not working correctly. All we need to do is select the wheel location that we want to create a replacement sensor for and tap copy by OBD. Even if the original sensor is missing, we can use the module data to create a replica of the original. Hold the sensor near the upper left hand corner of the tablet and allow a few seconds for the programming to complete and install the sensor in the correct location. We can now move on to the relearn procedure as per the instructions on the tool. Or better yet, if during the diagnose process we determine that the wheels were in the correct location, it eliminates the need for the relearn altogether. Now let's take the car for a quick drive to verify that the TPMS light is out and the system is performing correctly. The light's off and we're all set. See the link in the description below for complete product specs and a features overview of Autel's ITS 600 TPMS and service tool. For more information about Autel's TPMS or any of our products and services, visit us at autel.com. We'll see you next time.